Acts 10 9. On the next day, as they were on their way and approaching the city, Peter went up on the housetop about the sixth hour to pray. But he became hungry and was desiring to eat. But while they were making preparation, he fell into a trance. The realms of ecstasy's prophecies. And when we say ecstasies, we are talking about a realms where the prophet is caught up in the spirit completely. Where the prophet or the individual is caught up in the spirit, bodily, solace, and the spiritual. The person has been caught up in the spirit. It is a moment where there is a displacement of the mind of the individual. It's talking about a displacement, a distortion of the mind of the individual in the physical. Where you don't know what is happening in the physical again. So it is a range that when man enters, he moves from dimension to dimension. The Bible says, whilst they were done praying, Peter was hungry. And he desired something to eat. When Peter was caught up in the spirit, he fell into a trance. He heard the voice of God. And then the voice instructed him. Now, I want you to know that that was a close vision. In other words, a trance. Some people call it a trance. The Bible said, and he fell into a trance. That was a close vision. Where the individual has, mind has been displaced. Where the individual is caught up completely in the spirit. And then in the natural, he has no idea what is happening again. So it is a point where the individual cannot even identify who is standing close to him in the physical realms. Displacement of mind. Where the individual, it is a moment where the person is, is in bewilderment and then amazement as a result of surprise and fear. So the person has been introduced into a new realms. And that realms is new to that individual. So that individual is surprised. That individual is afraid. That individual, like, it is a feeling of fear, surprise, happiness, joy, and then like, it's a feeling of rapture. You know, when we say rapture, rapture is going to appear like this. Rapture is not going to be a moment where you'll be afraid. No. It's going to be a combination of fear, you know, surprise, amazement, you know, happiness, joy, you don't know how to explain it. You know, that moment where you don't know where you are, or that moment you cannot explain and you cannot define what is happening in your life. That is how rapture is going to look like. So, that is what we talk about, the realms of exercises prophecy. But I'm going to be interested in caught up in the spirit. Caught up in the spirit. Peter was caught up in the spirit. And then the Bible said, Peter was enjoying the right. Why? Because something great was happening in the life of Peter. Something great was happening in the life of Peter. So he was amazed. He was shocked. But yet, he was joyful. So that is what we call caught up. It is one emotion due to the wondrous activity of the Holy Spirit. So it is an emotion that happens based on the wondrous activity of the Holy Spirit. You don't know how to explain it. So it is a joyful movement fixed or mixed with enough fear mixed with surprise and then a lot of things you know the bible said in the book of revelation the chapter 4 verses 1 to 2 revelation 4 verses 1 to 2 the bible said after these things i look and behold a door standing open in heaven and the first voice which i had heard like the sound of a trumpet speaking with me said come up here and i will show you what you must what what must take place after these things immediately i was caught up in the spirit now he said immediately i was in the spirit after this moment a voice spoke from heaven and said come up peter that i may show you what is yet to come you need to understand that john the revelator was already in the realm of the spirit but the voice keep calling john the baptist come up peter and immediately he said i was in the spirit was he not in the spirit he was in the spirit but it was a dimension of spirit he needed to be invited into. So when he was invited in the higher dimension, he said, and immediately I was in the spirit. So he was not talking about the close vision. That's the trans dimension of a vision, where he was caught up in the spirit completely. And he said, behold, a door opened. A door was opened. And then a man standing at that door. What was John the Revelator was saying? He was caught up in the spirit completely. He was caught up in the spirit. So there is something we call caught up in the spirit. And it is a higher dimension of entering into the realm of the spirit. At this dimension, you have no control over your mind. You have no control over your body. You don't know what is happening in your life. 
so you are caught up in the spirit. So the Holy Ghost will slay you. One thing about the Holy Ghost is that when the Holy Ghost invites you, you don't need steps to enter his realms. When the Holy Ghost invites you, immediately you enter his realms. And as you enter his realms, you begin to see things, marvelous things happening in your life. So he was caught up in the spirit. Let me show you a man who was also caught up in the spirit in the Bible. Ezekiel 3, 14. And the spirit lifted me and took me away. He said the spirit lifted me and what? Took me away. How come? Did the spirit lift him physical and take him away? No. What happened? The spirit of the living God lifted up his spirit. He was caught up in the spirit. And he was taken away. You know, the, the Bible said in the book of Ezekiel, the chapter 36, Ezekiel described how the dry bones came back to life. You may think that it was a physical encounter. But he said, I was in the spirit on the last day, and the Holy Ghost carried me into a valley full of what? Dry bones. And behold, the bones were very dry. So which means the Holy Ghost carried Ezekiel's spirit, not his body. So it was not a physical carrying. It was a spiritual carrying. He was caught up in the spirit. And was it real? Yes. At that time, it is real like the physical. So whenever you are caught up in the spirit, it becomes real like the physical realms. It becomes real like the physical realms. And he said, prophesy to these dry bones and tell them. Now, Ezekiel explained the steps he took. And then behold, an army was standing. You may think that it was a physical process. It wasn't a physical exercise. Because he said, the spirit of the Lord carried me into a valley full of what? Dry bones. He was caught up in the spirit. So he was caught up in the spirit. He said, the spirit of the Lord carried me away. The spirit lifted me up and took me away. <laughs> he was talking about the spirit man. So which means the spirit of God can lift you up and carry you away and take you away. Which means you have been separated from your body. So which means there, are, there is a displacement in your body. You don't know what is happening in the physical realms. So even when they are running and then there is a lot of activity in the physical realms, you don't know what is happening. Why? Because you have been caught up in the spirit. The same way John the Revelator was caught up and he wrote the book of Revelation. He was caught up in the spirit. His body was in the physical, but in the realm of the spirit, he was in heaven. And then the Holy Ghost was taking him from one branch of heaven to another branch, one department to another department, one dimension of the Holy Ghost to another dimension. To understand, in Revelation chapter 1, John the Revelator told us how he entered the realm of the spirit. Chapter 2, he was still telling us. In chapter 4, he was invited into a higher dimension. And the Holy Ghost said, come up Peter. And he said, immediately, I was in the spirit. What happened? There was an invitation into a higher dimension. His spirit was caught up. At this time, he was not seeing an open vision. But at this time, it was a closed vision. Which means there was a displacement of the mental faculty. There was a displacement of his thinking ability. Even when people are running, he will not know what is happening. Why? Because his body has no use at that time. There is a displacement at that time. So tonight, somebody is going to be caught up in the spirit. Somebody will be slain by the Holy Ghost. Ezekiel chapter 8 verses 3. The Bible said, the spirit lifted me up between earth and heaven and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem. The spirit lifted him up between heaven and earth. So he wasn't in the heavens, he wasn't also in the earth. He was between. So this is a caught up. He was caught up. And all of a sudden, he was between the heavens and the earth. And he said, and the spirit brought me into the God of Jerusalem. He brought me to that realms. So he lifted me up. He carried me. He lifted me and carried me. Ezekiel 11, 24. And the spirit lifted me up and brought me in the vision by the spirit of God to the axials in Shaldia. To the axials in Shaldia. That is why I love prophet Ezekiel. One of the people who have... You know, close vision encounter. One of the people who have a visionary encounter in the Bible is Ezekiel. He was always carried away. He was always slain by the Holy Ghost. He was always in the realm of the Spirit. The Holy Ghost was always at work in his life. And listen to me, at this dimension, whatever you say becomes possibility. Whatever you say happens. So the reason why he was able to raise and bring the dead bones back to life was because Ezekiel was caught up in the spirit. 
and at that dimension you operate in God's realms. It is a dimension of God. It is a realms of God. That whatever you say becomes a law in the mortal realms. If you say it by mistake, it becomes a law in the realms of the mortal. So it is a realm that when a man is caught up, be careful what you say. So that is why sometimes God has to educate your mind, educate your spirit, and educate your mind before you even have this experience. Because if you are caught up in the realm of the spirit, whatever you say will manifest. You see, those who were caught up in those dimensions, whatever they say happened. He said, can these dry bones live again? When Ezekiel was caught up in that dimension, he was now bargaining with God. God now invited him to take decision with him. God is the God of all creation. There are dry bones and he's asking Ezekiel if they can live again. Why was he asking Ezekiel? Because whenever you enter that room, you act like God. Whenever you enter that, that mercy, God sees you like himself. So he talks to you like God. So at that dimension, God don't communicate to you like a human being. He communicates to you like another God. So that is why he asks Ezekiel, can this dry bones live again? And Ezekiel said, I don't know, you are the only one who knows. Why? Because Ezekiel thought that he was still in the physical realms. But he never knew that at that dimension, he was operating from the realms of God. So whatever he said in those dimensions will happen. So he said, prophesy, say to these tribes. So it was now God who was now taking Ezekiel step by step. Until he saw an army and he said, behold, a great and a mighty army standing. So Ezekiel was amazed. He was bewildered. Why? Because he never imagined that that dimension is possible. He never imagined that what happened could have been possible. But at that dimension, anything is possible. All things are possible in this dimension. So the reason why you prophesy and things don't happen is because you are not caught up in the spirit. A man who is caught up in the spirit says words and those words become flesh. Your words become flesh. Your words become flesh because it is a dimension of God. It is a realm of God. Have you ever made Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life? If not, pray this prayer and start a new life in Christ. Dear God, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I admit that I am not right with you, and I want to be right with you. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. The Bible says if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. I believe with my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now that you are born again, you can worship with any Stars of Heaven church close to you or any Bible-believing church. Locate Stars of Heaven Ministries in Bolgatanga on top of the Ghana News Agency building. Sundays, first service, from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Second service, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And evening services from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Midweek services on Wednesdays from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesdays for counseling from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. For more inquiries, contact the numbers on your screen. Thank you.